guys, welcome back to day two. If you tuned in, went ahead and put the PRL intercooler in in our first video of the build series. Again, shout out to Han Data for putting this all together for us. We're on our way right now to the dyno and let's see what day two has in store. We're putting in the Honda fuel system into the car on a stock turbo. And again, like I said, tune in, keep up with this build series. You're not gonna wanna miss out. We got the man right here editing video number three here for us. So again, tune in. Alright, so we're doing the Hondata fuel system right now and Morris is currently taking the intake manifold off first before so we can get into the injectors. So we're still here at the dyno but this video is going to focus on the FO5 slash FK8 fuel system so as you can see we have the four new injectors. We have an upgraded DI pump. We have an upgraded, um, basically a fuel rail line, and then a new uh, high pressure fuel pump uh, connection hose right here. And then you get an extra connector for the DI. So this connector lets you adapt the stock DI to the Honda one. And then here's the new hardware with the banjo bolt. But yeah, pretty simple. Basically, if, you, if you've seen the FK8 one, it's gonna be the exact same thing on the FO5. Morris right here is basically starting with the back, taking off all the fuel lines, the intake hose lines, so we can get to the manifold. I'm gonna start on this side, taking off the anti-gravity battery, uh, the melee tray, and then the intake and the charge pipe, also the bottom tray, so let's jump straight right into this.
huge shout out to Anti-Gravity and to Melee Design. If you guys don't have a battery kit, I definitely recommend getting it. Shout out Melee Design. Need some more tipping fuel? Alright guys, quick update. So I already removed everything on this side, the battery, the charge pipe, the intake. Morris has already taken off the intake manifold back here, if we see. So basically it's gonna be, what is it, like six bolts? Um, no, eight. So eight total bolts and then plus the throttle body. And then now, oh, the, the yeah, so now we're gonna take off the, the actual fuel rail and we're gonna remove the DI pump which is right here. And then we'll remove the stock fuel line and we'll replace all this. But yeah, we're also gonna replace, I don't know if you guys can see, but we're gonna replace this line right here. The one that goes directly there. And then one that goes under here, which is hard to see, but it's all the way in there. Which is this big metal line. I'm already taking off all the pins and I'm gonna start taking out the DI now.
Huh? All right, guys, we're back. Another update. So now I've removed this high pressure fuel line that goes from the DI to the fuel rail. Morris removed the actual fuel rail itself. Now he's pulling out the injectors. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these bolts out so I can remove the DI pump. So let me remove that and I'll get right back to you guys. All right, so these are the new Hondata ones. They're gonna be a way bigger than the OEM ones. So we should be able to get a lot more ethanol in through it. So right now, currently the problem is that we are running out of basically fuel. The stock fuel system is, is just it's pretty much done. So we're gonna upgrade to the Hondata one, do bigger injectors, do, do a bigger DI pump. So hopefully we'll be able to run a lot more ethanol. I think we should be at full E after the tune, but uh, Morris is gonna go ahead and put these in, and he's gonna just put these new clips on, the OEM ones back on, so here you guys go. Yeah, just make sure you're, you're reinstalling these the same way as you're taking them out, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. Just remove all the OEM ones from the original ones, take those plastic caps off, and they, they slide in pretty easily to be honest with you. So if you see him right now, he's just gonna take these black ones off, slide them on and there you go. So yeah, let's put these in and then we'll come back with another quick update. All right, so I removed these two bolts now from the DI. Now after removing the high pressure fuel line, okay. we'll take this out. And now that's basically, this is the stock one. So we'll take the stock one and then, sorry, just like it's super hot, but this is gonna be the stock OEM one for the FL5. And then this is the upgraded one for the new Hondata fuel system that we're getting. So I'm assuming that this spring can open longer. And as you can tell, it's a little bit more closed together. So to me there's gonna be more pressure here, but I'm just gonna put in the new line and this is the stock high pressure fuel line that we removed you can see the fitting here is pretty small compared to the Hondata one which let me take this one out and you get it everything's pretty closed up but there is going to be a restriction with the OEM one there but now if you see the Hondata one there's a way bigger opening right there compared to compared to this so if you see the new Hondata one is definitely bigger. This side is going to be the same, but this one to the fuel rail is going to be definitely bigger in comparison. But yeah, let's put this boat back on and then we should be able to put the new injectors in and then we should go from there. Okay, cool. So we got the high pressure fuel line on. The connector they give you, you're going to connect it to the, this pump and then you'll go to the OEM one here. We also got this uh, high pressure fuel line from the uh, the DI pump to the fuel rail. That's all connected. Uh, so put the stock line back on to the, the given new hard line. Morris is just finishing up doing the intake manifold. I just ended up putting back these two bolts and then these two brackets. The next thing I need to do is put back the throttle body, the charge pipe, and then the battery. Intake at the end, and then we'll go back on the dyno and see how much we make. So. It's kind of going to be like kind of a longer video, but we kind of get everything done basically since we're here. As you can tell, it's dark and it's, uh, it's going to be a long night, so let's keep going. All right, so we're done with the fuel system. I put everything back and now we're going to go back on the dyno. We're going to test the Hondata fuel system for the FL5. So everything pretty much bolts up perfectly. And you can see back here, Morris already finished the manifold, turned everything down. 